Hi everyone, this is Kola. Welcome back to my channel. I hope your week has been great so far. And for this week's video, I'm gonna review a couple of my favorite necklace from Bulgari. Ta-da, there we are. So these are all from Bulgari's Deepest Dream product line, which is one of my favorite because they're so classic and so iconic. And given this shape of the fan, shaped a necklace it's so flattering and you can't go wrong with any occasions including like a formal occasions where you're wearing a gown it's super flattering to wear this kind of necklace or even like on a daily basis you're wearing your jeans and a t-shirt you can still wear these necklaces it's very cute all right so let's get started one by one we're gonna bring a little closer so you can see it now i to focus so i'm gonna start from the side the big one, which is the paved diamond one, and the chain is in 18k white gold. It's very pretty. It's really shiny. And the middle one, this is a smaller size. This is a carnelian, and the chain is in 18k rose gold. And this guy is also a big size. This is the mother of the pearl, and the chain is also in 18k rose gold. So these three are very pretty no matter which one you choose. Now I need to let you know that the materials, this is diamond, this is carnelian, this is mother of the pearl. I think for diamond, it's actually not that fragile. As long as you keep them properly, I think you should be fine without it. Even if you wear them into shower, totally fine. I've been wearing this in the shower and I don't have a problem with this. But for the carnelian one, I have to emphasize that. Carnelian is a material that it's really easy to break. So you really want to want to drop in the floor or, you know, in any high temperature environment, it's going to be very dangerous for carnelian. So in the hot day, like if you go to like the desert or like it's 90 degrees outside, I would recommend not wear this carnelian necklace because the high temperature can really destroy it and break your Diva Stream necklace. And this type of material, Canalian, it's very easy to get dehydrated. So I learned from some tips that if you keep them in like very clear water and you can just soak it in for a couple of minutes every other day if you are wearing this necklace like all the time, that will be a great way to maintain the material and make sure your necklace is shiny all the time. And this guy, the big one, the, the mother of the pearl, I would say that is the most difficult one that I had so far because over time, mother of the pearl, it is very easy to lose some shine. And especially different mother of pearl, of course, the surface is different. So they look different as well. You have to be really careful when you're wearing this necklace, do not touch any chemicals. Like your hairsprays, oh my god, that's number one no-no. You can't use hairspray on when you're wearing this necklace unless you get it covered with your clothes and everything. Otherwise, you regret what you did. <laughs> and also like perfumes and if you put some body lotions on, try to not touch this site, okay? That will really destroy the necklace, the mother of the pearl. So overall, I would say if like for rating the uh, maintenance level, the paved diamond, of course, that's the most expensive one. That's easier to maintain. You can take it in the shower. It's not a sensitive temperature as long as you keep them from oil. Like if you put a lot of oil, like a tanning oil on the beach or like a lot of sunscreens that's really oily, I would not recommend wearing this because diamond, you know, it's really get frustrated with oil so don't touch oil for the paid diamond one otherwise in general you're good to go carnelian it's in the mid middle ground as long as you keep them safe avoid high temperature get them hydrated and clean water you should be good to go mother of the pearl extra caution this is the most difficult one to maintain so actually you wanted to maintain the shinings over a long period of time after wearing you need to put actual effort on this make sure you don't wear them in the shower no body illusion 
no perfumes and no any kind of chemicals. And if, if you sweat a lot, I don't recommend you wearing Mother of Pearl Divas necklace too. You can wear it in like colder days where you don't sweat, you know, totally fine. So that's all my tips for this three necklace. If you ask me which one you should be getting first, I would probably start with the Canalian because this is easier than the Battle of the Pearl. And if you want the, the small size, it's very classic and iconic and it matches a lot of clothes and it's less expensive as well. Because the paved diamond, although it is easier, much easier to maintain compared to the other ones, but it is more expensive, right? And to be honest, the bigger size is also great for special occasions. So I would highly recommend if you don't have any Divas Dream necklace, get Carnelian first, and then considering getting the Mother of Pearl. But if you have enough budget, get the paved diamond. That will be your favorite, period. Every girl loves diamond. <laughs> Alright, so this is for today's video. I hope it really helps you decide on which necklace you should be getting first. And if you have all of them, you know how to maintain them well. Alright, so this is Cola. Thank you so much for watching my channel and my video today. If you like me in my video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thumb up, like it. If you like me to view any materials of Diva's necklace or if you wanted me to provide some reviews on other stuff you're interested in, feel free to leave a comment and I may surprise you next time. All right, thank you again and uh, this is Cola. We'll see you next time. Bye.